Hello everyone, how are you today? This is your new love reading. I'm going to do it by pick a card simply because everybody wants something a little bit different in love, oftentimes at different stages of your life. So I've picked out the energies in the Light Seer's Tarot to represent what it is that you're hoping to find in love, to give you the people that will come forward that may most likely fulfill that energy for you. Focus on the card, make a choice, and then we will start with the readings. I answer every single comment. Uh, if it's a criticism or a suggestion, you know, I certainly will respond with respect. And I'm really looking forward to getting to know all of the new visitors better. I just want to thank all of my beautiful subscribers. But many of you, you know who you are. You show up in the comments every time I do a reading. You give me a thumbs up and you've really helped me grow. All right. For those of you who chose number one, the lover's card. So that's the overall energy coming into the reading. Let's take a look and see what Wisdom of the Oracle says. Thinker. Okay. You're perfect soulmate passionate physical lover may be someone who is a teacher someone who thinks very deeply somebody who's an intellect somebody who could be a teacher we get someone who spends some time alone they read this is a person who might be sort of oriented to philosophy and debating but it's a very it's a very interesting energy because what it tells me is that you need an intellectual chemistry to feel the physical passion well it's a gemini energy right so that makes sense now <laughs> now this person has a tendency sometimes to be, um, they're, well, they're into butts. <laughs> Let's just say that. They probably like a big behind. Your person is physically into having fun. They think a lot about what they want to do in bed. You know, this is a person who plans romantic occasions um, in a way, you know, sort of like strategic planning for love. But this is a person who likes people very different. They might enjoy the difference between ethnicities, races, cultures, age differences. This person is going to be very open to a wide variety of experiences. Again, they have, they really think about love. They think about physical connection and again you know they may have a big butt they may like big butts might be both but let's see who this person is so we get the energy of the page of cups so this could be somebody who's younger we could get somebody here who is very much in a playful energy, but they like affection. Affection is very important to them. This is Pisces energy. This is a very intuitive person. Um, they would be very likely to say something sweet or something be very soft in their approach, maybe even a little bit awkward in their approach. We get the energy of the Page of Wands. This is a person who would absolutely put themselves out there. Uh, this is a person who would throw caution to the winds. It's Sagittarius energy. Uh, Sagittarius can represent different cultures, you know, different ethnicities. But the Page of Cups, I love that energy. It's just a really sweet person who is playful, flirtatious. The Ten of Pentacles, it looks like they could come from an environment or a family. This is Virgo energy. So this person may be young, sweet, fiery, and innocent, and they are looking for physical connection, but they also have a very good value system. We're looking at Virgo energy here. This is a person who's been brought up. Uh, they have a lot of very traditional beliefs, but they're also a bit of a rebel. You know, we see the energy when we look at the Ten of Pentacles. You know, we see a family who has a lot of wisdom. We have a, a fathering, nurturing energy, you know, hugging children, telling them stories about life, intergenerational. So your person could ultimately become a Ten of Pentacles. You know, remember we have a Ten of Pentacles reading here. But the way you would find this person is through a physical love connection. 
so we also have temperance card this person is also Sagittarius energy they're very good at balancing out their emotions this is a person who likes children who likes people who treasures family this is a person who's very balanced this is it's a sweet energy, it's a loving energy, and isn't that's kind of sexy. When people have a really good value system, <laughs> we really see that, you know, it's just extra sexy, you know, it's it triggers the mind, it triggers all of your senses. We look at the four of pentacles. Okay, so what we're getting here is an energy. They are the Four of Pentacles. If they saw you in the midst of really thinking that you are their hot lover, you know, they're playful with you, they're kind of innocent, but you're, you're dealing with somebody who is a significant powerhouse of their own. This person is looking for a soulmate. At the end of the day, yes, they need and want the physical connection very much as you do. But we're also seeing someone who's not going to put up with having to compete for you. Four of coins, they're a little bit of the, this is Capricorn energy. Capricorn energy, Earth sign energy. Once again, we look at the Ten of Pentacles. We're looking at people who want a grounded connection. We're looking at someone here who would have a tendency to be possessive, a little jealous maybe, but they're not going to put up with this. They're not going to put up with this sort of flirtation if you were to show your butt em <laughs> if you were to show your your butt in terms of or they were to show their butt in terms of an emotional response within the relationship it would be very much like you know they I don't see them as being the person the blonde here I see your person this lover soulmate playful energetic person is still being someone who's looking for the soulmate even though it's a they absolutely have to have the physical connection a lot of that connection comes through the mind but we see them just absolutely being uh, annoyed and really with their arms crossed they would they would just be very likely to cycle you out of their life if they felt they had to compete Five of Pentacles, there you go, cycled out of their life. Oh my God, I can't believe it came up like that. We see this person absolutely putting you on the doorstep if they think that you're flirting with others, if they see you on the dating app, if they see you, you know, really not all that interested in what, they have to share a value system with you. So for those of you who are looking for a wonderful lover, we get the Knight of Wands, okay? So this person certainly can come in and have fun. This person is, quote unquote, not ready to settle down at this time. But by the same token, this is when they start a relationship. There's still what you don't know here is that they might come in and they might look like they're all free and easy and breezy, but this person has a very strong set of values so this is a person who though they want the passion though they want to have adventure and fun and playfulness they also want something deeper so the knight of wands energy is how they would be at the beginning of the relationship the justice card your person absolutely this is libra energy your person again is very free spirited but ultimately this person is libra energy the justice card is about remember we see tem temperance that's about balance we see justice this is about being fair and balanced we see two people that are talking to what appears to be a coach a counselor a therapist somebody who is allowing them to gain wisdom to be balanced so that they can have a significant relationship we see this person as someone who would like to ultimately marry. The death card is telling us that they may have been married in the past. They have been through a very, very difficult time in their life. They have had to think through the process of healing, possibly in another marriage, for those with whom it resonates. But what we're seeing here is a person who is transforming their life. They know the direction that they're headed in. The direction is ultimately to move out of the Knight of Wands energy, coming in and out very quickly. They definitely want to transform their life into a very serious long-term relationship. 
The Four of Cups says that while they like going out, while they like having fun, the Four of Cups also is that's not what life is about for them. So if you're pretty much a party hardy person, if you're a person that, you know, just wants to go out and sort of be all flash and no cash, this is probably a person that isn't going to be overly um, happy about that. You know, we get two fours. They like stability. The four of coins says that they want a grounded relationship with a wonderful lover. We see that they also want somebody who is going to give them attention. Everybody else is paying attention to whatever they're doing. So we see a person who very much requires that they get that cup of love, that page of cups is coming in here. So we see a person that may not be what you think they are on the surface, uh, but let's go ahead and clarify the cards here for the page of cups. Tell us something about the page of cups. We have the father of pentacles. Okay, so at the end of the day, <laughs> this person may come across like a page, but they are a powerful being. They do well for themselves. This is very much Taurus energy. We have the energy of somebody who, you know, at the end of the day is pretty serious. It's a good daddy card. We can see this energy that this person would like a family. They enjoy that. What is the page of cups here telling us? The star card this person has healed. Uh, they feel very optimistic about love. They see you as the, the person that they could spend their life with. They see you as the person that they'd like to nurture. They see you as that energy of uh, romantic wish fulfillment. The Ten of Coins. So right now we have the Death card. The Death card means that even though they came from a family of abundance, they're really not searching for that within a partner. What we see, we get, you know, this death card here, death card here. We see someone who could have ended another romantic relationship or even a marriage because we do have justice and we do have uh, five of coins. We also do have uh, the death card. The other way to interpret this is somebody who has inherited wealth and abundance on their own. So it's not as though they have to build it for themselves. They do value that, though. We see the Seven of Cups, you know, and it is reversed. This person is not confused at all about what they want. Let's see what the Death and the Seven of Cups reversed is. Absolutely. Okay. So at the end of the day, this person's coming in feeling very much like they have what they need. They can provide for the relationship on, on the financial level. This person is looking for somebody who's spiritually attuned to them. Again, the soulmate energy appears again, the lover's card, the lover's card. So they're not looking for someone to give them abundance, health, wealth, you know, not health, but wealth. They're not looking for someone else to provide that. They have it on their own. So, and for many with the death card, it is uh, could be a legacy of, you know, nice inheritances or, you know, wealth. Well, we get the Four of Swords here. This person is very good after an argument, after a difficulty. Uh, we see this person is always trying to heal the relationship and find balance. The Four of Swords energy is, again, the Libra energy, finding that balance. With Temperance card, they're very conciliatory. This is a person who will not stay mad at you and who will not really accept, you know, getting the silent treatment or something to them. It flies in the face of a committed relationship. Why do we get the Four of Pentacles for this person? Fours are the card of stability, Two of Cups. They want, they want absolutely a soulmate connection in which two people value each other and are not paying any attention to someone else. Why do we get the Five of Pentacles for you? Two of Swords, yep. They are just, once something is over for them, it's over. If you went through a period of not answering them, that would be it. If you went through a period of blocking them, that would be the end. Uh, this is a person who's very balanced. They would see that as being very detrimental. The Eight of Coins, okay. So even though this person is coming in 
with very charming, sexy energy. They want to get to know you. They want to get to know all about you. They want to learn how to trip your trigger, my friends. So this is a person who wants to learn how to please you physically, mentally. Um, let's see why we have the Justice card here. We get the Tower card. So if your person felt as though you were in a lot of conflict, and that you didn't have a strong foundation. This is a person who would absolutely be, because they have legacy behind them, because they're the thinker, they would want to work things out. This person wants a strong foundation, and this person does a lot to learn themselves about how to have that. Uh, if you had an argument or you had a difficult time dealing with stress in the relationship, uh, they would definitely, if, there, if they felt that there was no foundation and you were the person for them and you're the lover, they would definitely come in and say, hey, you know, let's go get some coaching. Let's go see if a third party here can kind of help us out of this trouble. Tell us more about the Tower card and the coaching. The Magician card, fantastic. Your person is really much, very much, that is Gemini and Virgo energy. Um, and it really says that your person has all the tools that it takes to make a relationship happy and healthy and successful. And they're looking for the same from a, a partner, somebody who's open. We get the Death card. Why is it here twice? The Moon card. So your person has some fears. Um, your person uh, is, the death card is Scorpio energy, the moon card is Pisces energy. They have a tendency, they've had some happenings in their life where they, they started something new without really understanding what the person they were dating was all about. So we get this person wants to start new in their love life. They definitely want to kind of overcome this. They might even be going to singles counseling right now. But your person very much feels somewhat fearful of, of the death of a relationship. And, you know, they're very innocent. They're very sweet. Again, we get that sort of younger generation energy here. But, you know, sometimes people are sweet and young till they're, you know, till they're 90 or 100 years old. But we do see this person has a lot of bravery. They're, they're willing to get over their fears and come in very quickly. Chariot energy. This person likes to be um, a driving force in the relationship. Let's see why we have the Four of Cups. They look like they're bored right now. They look like they haven't met anybody in a while that they really like four of coins. Okay, this person is very focused on this four of coins. They feel as though they've been in situations where people, uh, where they had to end relationships in which people were doing things undercover, under cover of night, and it's cost them the relationship they've had to kill off a relationship, go after something new with a lot of vigor because, you know, they've had this situation where people are just not giving the stability to the relationship like it should have. Tell us how they want to build this Four of Coins. Five of Pentacles, okay. They want to put everything in the past. They want to set it outside the door. They want to get rid of the memories. They want to replace them with better memories. Let's see what we have. We get the Hermit card. A strong Virgo influence here that is Virgo is the thinker of the Zodiac. So you might be dealing with a Virgo, but your person is willing. They'd rather be alone than to be in a situation that makes them unhappy. This person is an emperor, my friends. This is an emperor. This is a person that has is the best the best energy of the emperor i've ever seen this is truly an emperor a legacy emperor that's been given a lot of wisdom to find happiness in life temperance is coming up yet again temperance is here this person has a lot of wisdom let's see what the final card of outcome is at this time the daughter of wands again throwing caution to the winds my friend this person is in it to win it I think that they are going to uh, come forward to you. I think that for many of you, this is going to have a really profoundly healing effect on your heart, and it's going to be great energy of lovemaking. So that's what I have for you, group one. So let's go to group two. All right, group number two, for those of you who chose the sun card, 
Let's look and see what Wisdom of the Oracle has for you. We have that you're going through a period of going to the sea, search for answers. You, you know, you want somebody who really resonates with you. You want someone with whom to laugh and to love and to uh, do creative things with, a day at the beach. You just really are yearning for someone who fits that that feeling, that happiness. Someone that may enjoy music like, like you do. The Lady of the Song is all about that feeling of wanting joy and happiness. Some of you have been wondering why you have not achieved it, or better yet, most of you are wondering how do you achieve it? Who's going to come towards me? Who's going to be the person with whom I can have that lovely energy? So let's take a look and see what we have for you. We have the first card out is a death card. So many of you have probably gone through some sort of transformation. We get Scorpio energy. You know, we have an ending and a new beginning because where there's death, there's rebirth. Scorpio energy is much more like taking out an old kitchen, you know, renovating. It's about replacing an, a new kitchen for the old one that didn't work. And so you're in this energy of death and rebirth. You know, whatever didn't work in the past is okay. You're comfortable with it. You've mourned the loss. You've gotten through that period of time. And so has your person. So when we get this energy, we think, you know, I feel very much it could be attracting a Scorpio. Statistically speaking, Scorpios are one, are the most loyal zodiac sign because of their fierce intensity um, for the fact that, you know, they don't, they really understand life and death. Very serious, intense energy. It does rule the house of sexuality and the sexual organs and lovemaking. But, you know, Scorpios take love as a life and death matter, my friends. So it does look as though, you know, and this is the sun is the essence of life. So you have a person who really wants an intense relationship. You want, you have someone in your energy coming towards you who is going to take this relationship very seriously. We get the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. I love the Queen of Pentacles energy. It's someone who has tremendous nurturing skills. This is Capricorn energy, somebody who again takes family life commitment very seriously they take their career seriously we see the energy of someone it's the ultimate mommy card wife card it's pre-empress energy this person is looking for success for happiness in their life they feel as though having a happy joyful connection this is a heart chakra connection that's what they value so you're getting somebody in here who has water and earth somebody who's very grounded very steadfast somebody that you can rely upon we get the energy here of the ten of swords so we see that your person has been through and you know, they've been to Hades and back so I feel as though they're very much in this energy, but we see someone who has ended something in the recent past, or that could be your energy. But what we see is Ten of Swords. The, this, this person is feeling very much like, you know, hey, Ten of Swords, I'm standing, I'm alive and well, I'm going to go forward, I'm going to close out this chapter, I'm not going to be their feeling is very much with the Ten of Swords. It's Gemini energy. They're able to get through the process of healing. And I like that for you. It's very important when you start a new relationship. The Eight of Swords. So your person is not going to rush forward. Again, Gemini energy. This is a person who's going to take a wait and see attitude because they've been through the mill. They've been through some darkness. They're healing and they're coming into the energy of some clarity. You know, I'm going to take a wait and see attitude. Let me just see what my person looks like, what they want from me, how I can respond to that, how I can give to the relationship, how I can grow something new. I like it. It's good. So we see six of wands. Oh, lovely energy, Leo energy. So you might be dealing with a Leo. So what we have here is somebody who could have, you know, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. They could have a combination, Scorpio, uh, Capricorn, uh, Leo energies, but we see someone who is very intent 
on having joyfulness, happiness. Six of Wands is Leo energy, winner, winner, chicken dinner. They see you as the one for them. They see you as that really bright spark, that energetic person who represents someone who likes to be happy in the same way that they do. The energy of the Nine of Cups, that is the Fairy Godmother. The fairy godfather of the zodiac is blessing this union. Nine of cups is Pisces energy. This person, again, very happy-go-lucky person, but they're not at all frivolous. This is a person who's been through it. They've lived life fully. They know when to hold them. They know when to fold them. And they're very invested in being happy and successful in their connection with you. This person is very much of the energy that, you know, if you need to have a do-over in a relationship, if this is a person who's coming back from the past, uh, wounds will be healed. If this is an absolutely new love for you, this is a person who comes in with wisdom, with tenacity, with grace, with acceptance of the way life is, not rushing forward, being very responsible in the connection. We have the High Priestess. You have somebody here who is psychic. Well, Scorpio energy is psychic. So when we get the High Priestess, this person's going to be very discreet. This person is going to be very aware of everything that's going on. Very much an intuitive, somebody who is psychic, somebody who with whom you may have uh, telepathic communication. The High Priestess is Cancerian energy. It's a, it's a desire to nurture the egg, so to speak. It's a desire to be a quiet leader and to be there for others. The high priestess usually serves the empress as she's pregnant and she's going through that period of time of, of creation. So your, period, your person is very much in the energy of creation at this time. Strength card, wow. You, again, Leo energy, you are dealing with somebody who is just incredibly strong. This person is like a willow. They have gone through it. They've been through it. And they pop up again. They survive everything. The strength card is the infinity symbol. This person may have known you in another life or many lives. The strength card says that they have fire in their belly for the relationship. That this is a relationship that they see as being very reliable, a relationship that could go the distance. The Six of Wands have a victory. This can be an engagement. Uh, this person's very focused on someone who is strong like they are. You know, you don't have to be stronger. Uh, but they are looking for someone who is very dedicated, very much in it to win it, willing to tame the beast, you know, very much somebody who can laugh, somebody who has a sense of humor. So we get the nine of wands. They have fire in their belly to make this relationship work. This is a wounded warrior who marches on and says, you know, I'm going to I'm in it to win it. I will do this until, you know, I decide to leave the earth plane. But this person is totally in this relationship with you, in this connection with you to have success. The Nine of Wands says that they're willing to work hard, fight hard. They're willing to acknowledge when healing needs to take place. They're very wise. They're very strong. This is a person who's very reliable. So as your outcome card, we get the Seven of Wands. So this person is in a wonderful energy of just, you know, the Seven of Wands. It's a protective energy, but it's spiritual. Sevens are spiritual energy. So they're likely to cast that Seven of Wands around the two of you to ward off what they think are spirits that they would not want. But we also get this person is very discreet. Uh, they choose carefully. And before they choose, they, they look around. They look and see the, the lay of the land. They're looking at you as a person who could really be their wish fulfillment. They could be your wish fulfillment. This is a you know a card also of being a strategic person for the win. We get the Six of Wands going to the Seven of Wands. We get somebody who's perhaps winning your heart and then they're going to protect themselves in their relationship with you so that nobody can interfere in the relationship. So why do we have gone to the sea? What is the energy for clarifying this gone to the sea? Five of cups, your person has grieved the loss of something or someone in the past. They um, are very aware that 
sometimes things just require letting them to let go. The Daughter of Wands energy says that they have the energy, Page of Wands, of being very high-spirited, even though they have experienced a loss of love in the past. This person has, has a lot of strength, a lot of courage, so they're, they're willing to throw caution to the winds, have some fun, be flirty. What is the song card about for you? The High Priestess again. Ooh. So this person may send you songs, and that is their way of communicating with you. We see the High Priestess twice, Cancerian Energy. They'll nurture the relationship through music, through sharing the arts, and ways to look at your emotions beneath the surface. The Son of Swords. This person's going to tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth about their past, their history. And I would actually say eight of coins, their expectations, what they want, what they want to build, what they would like to know about you. They're going to be very transparent from what I see here. And that is Virgo energy, very down to earth, Father of Cups, Scorpio energy again. So the Father of Cups energy is somebody who is very mature, somebody who's been through uh, the tests of life, somebody who's come out on the other side as successful as being a person who would be this person as a person that others come to to seek advice we get a new beginning with you here's new love right there the fool card again they want somebody who's reliable they want to receive what they give they're very much very balanced chariot card honey i'm home Aww. That's really nice. Chariot card, the chariot is driven by the emperor. That represents also an automobile. Looks like they want to come and see you, take you out. Looks like they'll be chivalrous in that way. We get the moon card. Okay, so we had the moon card here too. We had, wait a minute, we had the moon card. Wait, where was it? Oh, that was, uh, sorry about that. I misspoke. That was a previous reading. So we get the moon card. It shows that, you know, they're a little bit curious. They're a little bit, they find you mysterious. Uh, it also indicates that there's a little Piscean, I wouldn't say trepidation, but it's like smoky trails. They don't know you well enough right now, so that's going to be important to them, is to get to know you, to know if you're grounded, page of pentacles. So this person really wants to see if you're reliable. You know, if they make a lunch date with you, do you show up on time? You know what, do you do what you say you're going to do? Baby steps, let's go out for coffee, let's go out for a meal. Ten of Swords energy, what is this about? Yep, the ending of a situation of heartbreak for them. So it looks as though, for those of you who this might this person might be returning, it looks as though they're returning with to to fix to fix the relationship, to make an apology, but also to make it work. You know, we get the three of swords is can be a third party situation, but it's heartbreak. Six of Wands, in it to win it. Really, again, Six of Wands. So for those of you who are looking for reconciliation and this is your person, then I would say that you're looking very happily at a nice, a happily ever after ending. For new love, I think this is a very fine, fine person with whom to become involved. We get your person, Eight of Swords. They check everybody out to find out if they tell the truth. That is what I call the Judge Judy card. She is a judge in the United States of a TV program in which she is judge, jury, and decision maker about the fate of the two people involved. And so what we see is a person here who is looking to see if they deem you honest because that's very important to them. Queen of Swords, Libra Energy, they want somebody fair and balanced. Son of Cups, they also want to know if you're, you know, how you treat people at the restaurant. They, they're coming in. They're very sweet. This person's very sweet. Page of Cups Energy. This is a person who has a very tender heart, probably is really good with animals. The judgment card so six of week six of wands six of weeks six weeks from now is what i'm thinking i almost said that it looks as though they're going to step in and really come forward to you the judgment card is making a decision they're releasing the wounds of the past they want a new beginning with you and they're willing to release all the old karma all the past like i said and what we get here is if you are in a reconciliation, that's just exactly how the two of you will win the day. 
Let's look and see what the energy is here for this judgment card. Tell us something, Spirit, about the judgment. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, when the time is right, they'll come forward, and they see that as about six weeks from now. They are, you know, healing. They're thinking about things. They're thinking about their part in things. Um, but we also see somebody who thinks about a lot about how to be successful. So, you know, you're not, this is not a frivolous energy. It's a very happy energy and an outcome for you that I think that you're really looking for. We get the Mother of Pentacles again. Queen of Pentacles energy is a Mother of Pentacles. Different decks, different names, but very much. This person finds their happiness. They find happiness with you by strategically employing um, a, arranging your life so that the two of you have lots of laughter, lots of fun. It's like building a foundation of happiness so that the house can withstand a storm. And that's what I get. When we get the Aquarius energy, the Father of Swords is very strategic, much like an engineer. How do we build the foundation? How do we get to the Mother of Pentacles? Well, we have laughter, we have fun, we have shared experiences. You know, we intuitively learn to read each other. We learn how to love each other at a very profound level. So let's see, what do we have? Okay, let's see here. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we have here for... The High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here twice? Spirit, why is it here twice for our beautiful friends? We have the Father of Wands. Okay, so what you don't see, what this person keeps hidden, is that they are very fiery. We have Leo energy, Leo energy. So your person may be very grounded, and they are. They're very much an intuitive they very much know how to make things work. They have a good a good mix of energies. So we've seen a lot of earth and water, a lot of groundedness, a lot of intellectual capacity, and now we're seeing fire in their belly. So this is a person who can come in great as a daddy card. So we have mummy and daddy. Of course, it's not necessarily mummy and daddy, but it is a father of pentacles. It is a pre-emperor and the pre-empress. So the two of you are on the same page. The High Priestess says that they're looking to see what your value system is without asking you directly. They want to know, they want to confirm that you're on the same page with them. They will want that to nurture the energy. The Magician card says that they think you're the one. The, the Magician is, you know, Gemini, Gemini and Virgo energy. So they think that the two of you have all the tools. Why is the Strength card here? We see the Eight of Cups. So this person is coming back in, even with a lot of strength. You know, there may have been, for some of you, this is new love after a breakup with the same person. For others of you, this person has, they are strong enough to walk away re from relationships that do not give them what they want. This is not a person who hangs around. This is a person who makes a decision. They have the courage, tenacity. They have that desire for being happy. And they will always seek out the Two of Cups energy. Two of Cups soulmate of the Minor Arcana, Cancerian energy. They will give up the ghost, give up the burdens. They will go from the Nine of Wands to the Ten of Wands if they feel like they are in a toxic situation. Capricorn energy, anybody who tries to control anything is deemed by them. If you need to be in control, if they would need to be in control, they would deem that as toxic energy because it would, in their viewpoint, would leave to, lead to a ten of swords, which would be a betrayal emotionally of some sort. So your person is very much geared to success. They're in this beautiful Seven of Wands energy. What do we have for the Seven of Wands? The Son of Pentacles. Okay, I like it. That is Virgo energy again, knowing what to do, how to do it, how to show up in a relationship, moving forward very slowly, being very careful. Uh, to the Mother of Cups energy, Cancerian energy. We have the Mother of Cups, the King of Cups. So we have two people who are so uniquely suited to one another. It's just, it's joyful to see this in a relationship reading. So thank you for your time. On to three. Hi, group number three. Here we are. You're the group that shows the Ten of Cups energy. Happily ever after, a relationship based on sheer happiness. 
Let's see what the energies are for you. So from the wisdom of the oracle, ooh, somebody's coming in with a very strong yang energy, very strong masculine energy, somebody who likes to jump in and save the day. It could be someone who's close to you that could even be a neighbor that says, hey, let me help you start your car. I'll change your, you know, I'll change your tire for you. But this is a helping person, very masculine, very beautiful, watery energy. We see also that this person has been wounded in the past. This person has um, an energy about them of remembering a time in their life when they weren't happy. So this person is really willing to give to a relationship. When we get five and eight, we get the number 13. One and three is four. So your person is really looking for somebody who is stable, with whom they can really love at an intense level. The energy of the five of fire. The five of fire is telling me that your person may be a fire sign. We see with the yang energy, that could be true. Five of fire is someone who is willing to fight for you. This is somebody who says, you know, I'm going to jump in. I'll compete for your attention. That they are very much, they see you as possibly the light of their life. They see you as a person with you know, with whom they can have something very special, very dreamy like energy. The energy that comes up with the two of earth, you know, it looks as though they think that you might be dating someone else. They are willing to throw their hat in the ring. They're willing to uh, even take a period of time in which you get to know them better in which you might not date exclusively. The two of earth is Capricorn energy. This person's willing to do the work. They're willing to earn your affection. They're willing to fight for you. We get the energy of the high priestess, somebody who's very smart, very intuitive, very sweet, very loving. The high priestess energy is Cancerian energy. This person may have a very psychic ability. They may be able to read your body language very easily. The high priestess energy is quite lovely. The high priestess is the, the major arcana person who helps the empress bring about her destiny. You know, she tends to be the midwife, the nurturing energy that's younger, that it's it's a, a card of service in many ways, but one that doesn't feel that way. The high priestess is there with a higher level of knowledge and skill. It speaks very much to the fact that this person is a healer in many ways. The two of air. So you may ignore this person. <laughs> The two of air is like, okay, I've got a lot going on here. You may have seen this person many times. The two of air is Libra energy. They seem to always be doing something with this yang energy. Um, the two of air also speaks to the fact that you may not have really had a lot of interactions with this person. You may have really almost uh, decided not to pay attention to them. But have no fear. It is Libra energy. It is balanced we have the Ten of Air. So your person, again, this really speaks to me, Ten of Swords energy, Gemini energy. This person has been able to put something in their past. They're still in the shadow period of having felt very wounded. They're not quite ready to, with the Two of Swords to step forward, but they're watching you. They're watching the energy. This buildup of affection for you is tremendous. This buildup of a desire to step into your life. There we go. There's a chariot card. Ah, I love this. This chariot energy is the honey I'm home energy. This chariot energy is someone who really holds the same values as you. This chariot energy has tried to have this energy with someone else and it didn't work out. So they've learned the lessons from the past though. The shadows of the past means that your person has consolidated what they've learned about themselves, what they need to know to go forward with you. We have the five of earth. Yep, it looks like somebody treated them badly. So the five of earth is Taurus energy. This person definitely wants to be a very big part of your life. This is a person who suffers when they can't really give something to you. This person is a giver. This is somebody who is very practical in nature. 
This is someone who values you at a very high level. They seek you out as an empress. They seek you out as a person with integrity. So that is, you know, they're following the, a period of healing with really understanding what went wrong. They get it. They know what went wrong in the past. I love this energy for you. The king of earth, the king of pentacles. This is a person who truly knows how to earn money. They have an abundance of money. Money is not what they're after. They're not after someone who has to give them something. They're very much an independent being. Taurus energy, very steadfast, very grounded, very sensual, very touchy-feely, very much in their emotions. They don't really speak their emotions as much as they show their emotions. They show you their love. Their, their language of love is very much by doing things for you. The King of Earth is a daddy card, the husband card. It says, you know what, once you are, once we are committed, I am yours. I give myself to you fully. I want you. I need you. The hanged man means that they will wait politely for you to make decisions. They're never going to be pushy with you. They try to look at everything from your perspective also. It's what gives them the emotional intelligence to come through and have this lovely Piscean energy with you. The hanged man is very much Pisces energy, somebody who looks at things from a different perspective, somebody who has a spiritual core. Then the uh, one and two is a three, which is spirituality once again. Two of water, look at that. This person wants, they see you as possibly the person, the soulmate that they're seeking. The three of fire, they have chosen you as your person. So the three of fire is your ships have arrived in the harbor. The two of cups is they see you as that person. They have gone through a lot, you know, and, and they really want you. Let's go ahead and see what the clarifiers are, but I'm going to straighten up this desk a little bit here. All right, my OCD gets the best of me sometimes when I look at the card table and I see what you're viewing and it doesn't look quite right. So thank you for forgiving me for taking a moment there. Thanks. Five of, well, let's look at the Yang energy. Tell us, Spirit, what the Yang energy is about. What is this desire and need that they have to give? Mother of Cups, it's how they nurture, it's how they show their love. Once again, their language of love is doing things for you. We saw that a couple of times here. I like it. It's really beautiful. That is how they show their softer side. They show you that they care. I love it. Cancerian energy. We also get the sun card. It's what makes them happy. Look at that. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. No wonder they can want the Ten of Cups. They are happy by being in service to you. Now, I will add in here that this person is not, a, this is a, still a leadership person, okay? This is how they bond with you, though. So you're not looking at somebody who is, you know, sort of like, kissing your feet, although they might have a foot fetish, whatever, you know, if that's what you like, they would certainly enjoy giving. But what, what we see here is someone who just finds absolute pleasure, joy, and meaning in life by giving and nurturing love, okay? What's the shadow of the past for this person? What do we see here? We get the mother of pentacles. So what I'm getting here is a shadow of the past is that this person had a wonderful mother. They definitely had this energy of being able to, they had a mother who was um, mother of Pentacles, father of Pentacles. They had a good family. They came from a family that knows how to love. They gave from a family in which there was a mother who knew how to be a good mother, who taught her children how to be reliable and faithful and work hard and and seek that which would be their journey in life. Somebody who's very nurturing. So let's take a look and see what we have for the five of fire energy for you. Why is this person willing to fight for you? Look at that. Seven of Swords. Oh, oh, this person's been watching you. And this person, you know, this again, I feel is somebody who's near you, who watches you, who likes you, who you have conversations with. The Seven of Swords says that they're watching you very closely. They feel as though they're waiting for the time to be right. Um... It looks as though also when they interact with you, they probably hide 
and don't say anything at all with that Virgo energy about that would actually give them away. So they're their desire for you is secretive at this point. So you have a secret admirer, somebody who feels like, you know, they're going to hop in at the right time. Three of coins, somebody that you really have interactions with. So this is a person who could be someone who might come over, a neighbor who might shovel your driveway or your, you know, your sidewalk for you, somebody that you work with, somebody you collaborate with, somebody that you wouldn't normally think of as a person with whom you'd have a relationship necessarily but they are in it to win it with you, my friends. They are willing to fight for this. They see you as a ship that's arrived in the harbor. They do see you as their person. Two of coins, that is a card of potential juggling. We get the magician card though. This person is manifesting you, my friends. They are using all the tools, all, and the magician works quietly, right? You don't see what the magician is doing. Oftentimes you see you they divert attention to some other area. And that's how they, they get to know you better without you knowing about it. So it looks like this person might be in your life to serve a practical energy, two of coins, three of coins. But this person has all the tools to manifest you. They are watching you very carefully. They see you as single and ready to mingle, somebody who's highly desirable. They see you as a person who's very discreet, uh, very loving. They feel the same way. Uh, the Nine of Coins is somebody who's very successful in, in your own right. That is what they bring to the table at this point. It's what you bring to the table. And that Magician card says that they have a very, very intense physical attraction towards you. They also have a, an emotional attraction. This person simply thinks that, you know, the Two of Air, they're blocking out the past. So we see when we get the death card energy for this person, they're at the point where they haven't had a relationship since another ended uh, as they've healed in this relationship in which they've ended. They are ready for friendship, and that's what they've given you. It looks like this is, again, somebody who is close to you, Father of Cups energy. That's a King of Cups, a very nurturing, a very steady person. This is a favorite uncle, a favorite brother, a favorite friend. This is a person whom everybody comes to and shares with. And this person has that very deep, the depth we see, you know, when we got the death card uh, here. I can't remember where we got it. Do we have it here? Yep, I think we did. Nope, Seven of Swords, okay. So, but what I'm saying here is that this person has had an ending that this person is in the energy, yep, the death card, I'm sorry, uh, the death card, that they have healed, they are coming towards you, this is a very strong Scorpio energy, this person knows how to um, live life, you know, let things go when needed, move on. Ten of air, what's a ten of air here in this situation, the lover's card. So this person really would not find just a physical kind of relationship enough they are looking for a soulmate they you know this is a person who would be very wounded if if you're looking for a booty call this is not your person you know we're really seeing that in the past they may have been treated in a way to be a service rendered in a relationship and that's not what they're looking for again they want soulmate energy they want that intense love relationship happiness flying side by side they could love to travel. The Five of Coins says that right now they don't see an opening. They're not seeing it right now. They feel like they're, if they approached you right now, they would be worried that, you know, you might be involved in something else. The Two of Coins tells us that they don't really know what your sat status is in terms of dating. So the Five of Coins, they're feeling sad and lonely right now, but they want to come towards you. So what do we have? For the energy the hanged man oh waiting patiently look at this the hanged man twice waiting watching being very content biding their time you know you may have even with that five of coins card been somebody who said something to the effect of oh i just i've given up on relationships i'm i'm just gonna live alone you know i don't really i don't really see myself being there because they do feel like you have a closed door in your heart and that, you know, even though they see you as somebody who is delightful, they, they might see that about you. If that's true, if it resonates, leave a comment, of course. 
the tower card okay five of coins energy okay so what we're seeing here is that you might have a sudden breakup or a sudden epiphany that someone else is not right for you and it looks as though this person sees this as an opportunity look at that to come in with a strength card so again i think this is somebody who might know something about your life you know if you have a somebody who's come and they park their car for a long time in your driveway and that that car is gone for five weeks this person is going to make their move strength card leo energy the courage the fortitude the stamina the delight they've tamed their inner demons we see this person is coming forward and offering you a stable committed relationship that is a marriage energy so after you feeling as though you've given up hope, that you're in this sort of dark energy, this person just walks in. They're like, hey, you know, hey, let's go hang out. Let's go do something. Let's have a little bit of enjoyment or fun or pleasure. The world card. This person thinks the world of you. They want to go to the next level with you. The world energy is Saturn energy and Aquarius. Enlightened progress and work on a goal to move up to the next level they do want to be your best friend and lover the three of swords is the energy of the hanged man and the three of swords says that they will wait until you've cleared the the field they are not going to come in and make an approach to you if you are in another relationship they will certainly wait for your heart to mend they will take a wait and see attitude and they'll chat with you and just be lovely with you. You are their person. We have the three of wands here. They see you as the one that's right for them. So they're going to come forward. Three of wands energy. We have the three of fire, they, three of fire, three of fire, three of wands, three of wands. The two of cups is the soulmate card. And we see them being very, very son of pentacles, a very reliable person. That's Virgo energy. That's the guy who rides a horse very slowly into the future. And then we have the father of pentacles leveling up. Father of pentacles, father of pentacles. Very strong Taurus, Virgo, uh, very strong uh, Capricorn energy. This person wants to go the distance and live happily ever after. So that's what I have for you, Group 3. Thank you so much. Leave comments, please. I'd love to hear them. I'm just getting started with um, Pick a Card. So give me some help if you think I'm, I need to uh, offer more or say more. Just I take constructive criticism. I really like it. So thanks so much, and I answer all the comments. Okay, thank you, Group 3. Hi, Group 4. How are you? Let's hear the group that has chosen legacy marriage, long-term committed relationship with someone who likes dogs, must like dogs, must like cats, must like children, must like the elderly, the generational. You know, you have to have a strong sense of family values. And somebody who, you know, with whom you can have an equal partnership. Both of you can play both roles. You can both be the red breadwinner. You could both be the caretaker in a relationship. It is Virgo energy. It's being very conscientious, enjoying life thoroughly day to day, enjoying the, the duties and the responsibilities, embracing them with a lot of love and generosity. So let's look and see what we have for the person coming towards you why oh interesting so that's a very big mysterious card here you are really wanting to know what this person is about they want to get to know all about you why do you feel that way what do you think about this why would you want that why do you want to do that so it's very inquisitive and you know when people ask you questions like why why this why that they're engaged with you they're really interactive with you it's very it's a grounding energy to a relationship because it really speaks to the fact that they want to know what makes you tick and you want to know what makes them tick because that's how you get to finding a really good match that shares your values. So when we look at the energy of Heart of the Fairy Oracle, we have the Smith. Now that makes perfect sense. The Smith is pounding away, you know, the, the horseshoe, hitting that horseshoe, shaping that horseshoe. Three and one, the number 31 is four, so it's stability. The four of wands in the tarot deck is a marriage of stability, creating a foundation here quite literally by the work that you do. So let's see what we have for the energy of your person coming in. 
We have 10 of coins. <laughs> All right, I can't make this up. This is exactly the same card in a different deck. You may be dealing with a Virgo, but somebody very much like yourself, somebody who is a problem solver, somebody who enjoys the process that it takes, even if it takes a while. It's like you're a master puzzler. You know, you like to solve that puzzle, solve that problem. Uh, you like to be the leader. You kind of like to be the best at what your uh, at your person feels this way, that they like to be the best at, uh, at any given skill that they have. They're very charming, though. This person is humble. They're charming. This person is grounded. If they say they're going to show up at 5 o'clock on Friday, they're going to be there. This is mutual energy. You are going to attract a person who has your values. We get the energy. I love this. The two of cups, very loving, very sweet, very kind energy. Uh, that is the Cancerian nurturance. This is a bride and groom stating their values, giving their heart to one another making that commitment to date exclusively so that you can get to explore this relationship. This is absolutely a rock solid person coming in. Two of Cups can be Cancerian energy, um, but we see this beautiful, uh, almost like a guardian angel, um, protecting this relationship and connection. The Three of Cups, oh, you two love to chat. You two love to go out and have fun. You know, you have to have a balance. You can't work all the time. But what we see here is the two of you are best friends. That, you know, you have a group of friends around you that are very supportive, Cancerian energy, nurturing the relationship, making sure there's enough for everybody. Everybody gets their own cup of love. There's an abundance here and there's you treat life with an abundance of, of love. You know, you, you absolutely know that you choose your people carefully and you, both of you are able to stay in this nurturing energy. You know, it's like a mom and a dad and a child. You know, it's a, it's a mom and a dad and the legacy of love. It's best friends. It's the bridesmaids at your wedding also. <laughs> Two of cups to the three of cups. I love it. Advancement. Your person, oh, the Emperor card. Well, this makes perfect sense. The Ten of Pentacles is legacy. Emperors have risen through life to become the leaders and the enforcers of what works in society. When I'm doing private tarot readings, I find that many of the people that I read for, when they I get the Emperor card, I oftentimes can predict that this is a person who's very uh, successfully self-employed, a leader in their industry, somebody who has Aries energy, a self-made person who has mastery over their lives. This is a person who has a very strong, successful core. They're in it to win it. They know how to get it done. They're very strategic. They understand what it takes to be successful, and they are coming in with this energy of uh, absolutely bringing everything to the table that they have. They might be very wealthy. They might have built quite a legacy already with or without you, but this is the energy that they're coming in with. The Five of Swords says that your person is someone who is very strategic and will not put up with a lot of uh, difficulty. Five of Swords is energy that they see as very nonsensical. It's like an ego fight. It's somebody who picks up the pieces, takes what's left at the end of a battle. This is a person who sneaks around and takes what belongs to others. So they would be very hyper vigilant, very sensitive to anybody who wanted to marry them for money. They, will, they would know that in a heartbeat. They would spot it. They would absolutely reject it. They're not going to be in this energy with anybody. You know, when you're very wealthy, it's very easy to attract all kinds of people that want you for all the wrong reasons. And that is something that they, they have a strong awareness of that.
We get the energy with your person of the Seven of Coins. They are the gardeners of life. The Seven of Coins is Taurus energy. So they know how to invest. They know how to invest strategically in the stock market. They know how to invest in relationships. They know how to invest in career. They know a lot about money. They're careful about how they invest too. They don't waste their time. This person again, very strategic. The Seven of Coins says that they have the patience to let something grow. But they're also very mindful and they pay a close attention to what's going on in any relationship that they're in. So it's very powerfully good energy in that since you're this person, they're looking for that energy in you. They're going to show you that they have it. Beautiful energy, chariot card, honey, I'm home. That is the emperor that drives the chariot. Make no mistake, this person is a person who probably has a nice car, somebody who would want to put you into a nice car, somebody who would thoroughly enjoy the accoutrement of nice living. The chariot, again, is moving forward very rapidly. Once they completely identify that you're on the same page with them, as they move into this energy of going even from friends back into love, this person's going to move fast. They're going to come towards you very quickly. The Three of Swords says that you may be dating somebody else. They could also be involved with somebody else. They could be in a situation where they could be dating someone. I'm not seeing this person as normally in a Three of Swords energy. The other thing is, is that we see here is that this person is, I think, if you're dating somebody else, they're waiting for that to be finished. You know, So I can read that a couple of different ways. But the Three of Swords says that um, they want to make a choice and they absolutely will not put up with anybody who is third party sort of in the way they approach life whether it's you whether it's them they are absolutely choosing to not be in that energy oftentimes people who are very very uh, well to do many emperors do find themselves in a situation in which they have heartbreak they have somebody who feels betrays them they're beyond that so I feel as though they're very aware of what happens. They get a broken heart when they are with the wrong person who doesn't love them for who they truly are. The death card, I think for many of you, this person is going through a divorce or they've been through a divorce. They've learned their lessons. They're ready for new life again. And look at that, the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Cups is an engagement. Now, for those of you who are dealing with a twin flame situation, this could indicate a karmic who leaves behind, or an, an emperor energy who leaves behind a karmic. It can indicate that the two of you have found your soulmate energy, maybe through work. Uh, this person is very strategic. They will come towards you when things have worked out. But for the rest of you, this is very much the energy uh, that this person is looking. The Ace of Coins with the Three of Cups is the ring, the bridesmaids at the party. This is a wedding. This is a legacy marriage. Um, and again, this person is very much invested in you for all the right reasons. Let's go ahead and see what we have for clarifiers here. Why do we have the why? Why is the why here? The daughter of swords. So your person's very inquisitive. This is page of swords energy. You know, they want to know what makes you tick. They'll be looking you up online. If you have a LinkedIn account, if you're on Facebook, they're going to want to know all about you. This is a person who's going to check you out. The Smith card, they're only, they only want people who are in it with them to work on a relationship in the same way. This person has had quite enough of people who held back, quite enough of people who didn't take action. This person is only looking for someone who does not hold themselves back. If you play games with them, they're out. They will tap out in a heartbeat. So they're accustomed to that sort of energy. They're not going to be lured or tricked by anybody who is just in it playing games for what they can get. The Ten of Coins, why is it here for your person? Nine of Coins, good. So this indicates that both of you could be single. 
Uh, one of you might be single while this person's getting a divorce. I could read either way. Take it as it resonates. It's still general. So like a buffet table, leave what's not yours. So they absolutely see this period of time of just adoring getting to know you, getting to know all about you. They like to be in your home. They like how you've decorated. They find you as someone who's very appealing. Somebody who's highly desirable out in the world of dating. They fall in love pretty readily here with you. Uh, this person is very, you know, very much. At first, when they approach you, they are in the Sun of Wands energy. And so it looks as though the first approach that they make is sort of in and out, you know, just I'm just here to have fun. They are healing. They're healing from a broken heart. And it looks like a divorce or a relationship that has failed them. Uh, one in which they're not feeling very happy. Uh, let's see, the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here for your connection? We see this person as being very loving. They're at the Two of Wands. Ooh, they are ready to make a decision. So they're out having fun. They're out dating, but they are looking to find someone with whom they can be best friends and lovers so they can make a decision to move from this Knight of Wands energy into the Two of Cups energy, which is a firm commitment. This person, remember, is all about legacy, all about building, getting to the destination they want to be in. They want to marry their best friend. They want to marry somebody who is talented in and of their own right, somebody who's built a nice life for themselves. The Emperor card, okay, this person is very much sort of, I would say, hell-bent, the devil, right, hell-bent on uh, a relationship in which both people have slayed the dragons. Both people of you, both of you have tamed your inner demons and that you have the strength and the courage to go forward in a healthy manner. This person has no desire to have someone who is a drain or anybody who has any addictions, whether it's shopping or anything else. This person is not having it. The strength card is what they feel that has to be displayed in the connection between the two of you. The Five of Swords is their absolute understanding that they're not going to put up with anybody who wants to take something from them. Uh, let's see why it's here. What, what can Spirit tell us? The Death card. Yep, the Death card. It looks like, that again, I think that they might have married uh, somebody at a young age and somebody that they thought liked the same things and desired the same things that they desire and somebody who turned out not to be what they appeared to be. We get the Ace of Cups here. Look at this. New love. This person is open to new love. They're offering a cup of love. They're invested. The Ace of Cups, the Ace of Coins. How great is that? Because again, when you get the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups, you get the Bridesmaids. But it's it's really gorgeous energy. Chariot card again. That is Cancerian energy. And we have the Emperor. It's the Emperor again. So the chariot card, the emperor drives the chariot. So this person is going to take a leadership role. I love this energy. We see this person as judging you as someone who's very well balanced, somebody who's very upright, somebody who's not about third party situations, somebody who's not about, they see you as a person who's like, has good judgment, that you want what they want, that you're very level, you're very balanced, you're very intelligent and that at the end of the day, you two have had heartbreak. They see you as a person they can rely on, somebody who's going to be a good marital partner. That is Libra Energy, ruler of the seventh house of marriage. They see you as kind, as loving, but brutally honest. They see you as someone who can make that judgment call and be strategic, much like themselves. Why do we have the death card here for you? Why is this person Okay, Ten of Wands, they've given up their old burdens. I like it. That means they've healed. They have given up the burdens of the past. They understand, you know, emperors do understand the strategy of life. And the Ace of Coins is a beautiful engagement ring. I'm getting, we have the Mother of Wands. This person wants you because whatever it is about you, they absolutely love your fiery passion. They love the fact that you take risks. They love the fact that you're sexy. They love the fact that you really uh, know 
how to go out in the world, how to create abundance. This is a very smart, typically a feminine business energy. So whatever this is, you know, this is sort of like the ad executive who can present ideas and sell the product, but they see you in this beautiful Queen of Wands energy. This is Aries energy. Emperor energy is Aries energy. So we see the two of you very much on the same page. They find you absolutely stunning. For those of you who are in a third party situation, this means that your person is ending the relationship that they have that wasn't what they wanted, in which somebody came in and cherry picked and broke their heart because the, they, they weren't who they provided. They weren't who they said they would be, but the Queen of Wands can be the other woman. And uh, you inherit the earth here, my friends. You absolutely inherit the earth. If that's the case for you, you're in it to win it for all the right reasons, and you're a wonderful match. Thank you so much. All right, group five, here you are in your reading. Let's take a look. This is for the group that shows the three of wands, ticky torches, starry nights, a person with whom you could have romantic adventures, adventures in general, you know, traveling. Um, but the this is Aries, so you want somebody who's very energetic, very playful, somebody who will go on hikes with you, who will go, you know, swim in the ocean, who will go, uh, again, like I said, adventure-oriented. Look at this, chopping wood. So you know what? Right now, the energy is, is that you're just not going to really uh, involve yourself with anybody who isn't of this mindset, somebody who doesn't have some freedom, somebody who can't choose you to go spend time with, the remembrance. So for some of you, this person is remembering a time when you may have known each other, a time when you may have dated, but it also is all about them remembering the happiest times in their life. This person is very much a good match for you because we see that they remember what makes them happy and there was a time that they didn't have it. So I like that energy for you. Let's look and see more about this person. So we see the energy here that they are two of swords energy. We get the energy that your person is in a period of time in which they're not really making big decisions. Two of Swords is Libra energy. They're just all about staying balanced, being very aware of what they want, doing some soul searching, not overly concerned about what's going on around them, just very focused on what they're looking at. We get the Seven of Cups. Your person is at a crossroads, you know. The Two of Swords is like not knowing exactly what they're going to do. They know what they want. Seven of Cups says that they are imagining what they want. This is a very strong Scorpio energy. Something has ended here. They're remembering that. They're remembering what didn't work. They're remembering what it is that they seek and want and love in life. And the Ace of Wands, they are ready to take action. The Ace of Wands is fiery energy, fire in your belly. Very much, you know, we have this Three of Wands energy. So your person has gone through a period of time in which, you know, they're coming through that energy now with that Ace of Wands. The Moon card says that your person is seeking emotional enlightenment. They're going on an inner journey uh, Piscean energy. They are not one to be very emotionally obvious. The moon card says that they have a tendency to hide their emotions. Even the ocean goes to low tide every day because the moon needs to take a break. So I feel as though your person has got, they have fire in their belly to have this adventure and they're working through and picking their way through a period of time in their life when somebody just didn't treat them very well. We look at the Page of Cups are coming in with a very sweet offer, nothing overly huge, but very much aware, very kind-hearted, very loving energy that they're coming in with. The Page of Cups is sweet and kind and loving and innocent, and they have an open heart. You know, your person is very much uh, very, very sweet, very tender person, somebody who offers real love. The energy that we see here is a two of coins, okay? So they have two different ideals of what they want. They are open to two different um, types of people. We see the three of discs, so your person very much wants someone who's on the same page with them. 
we see someone who, as they work through the dilemmas of what they want, they're getting clarity. And when they offer love, we have this beautiful energy of the Eight of Wands. We get them coming forward very powerfully to you. Sagittarius energy, the adventure of traveling abroad to foreign lands, to exciting times. This person is even willing, if they have a good teammate, to almost do things that could be dangerous. You know, they might like to fence. They might like to sword fight. They, I know that's really a crazy thing to say, but your person does like to take risks. They don't like to, you know, but they don't, they also want someone who is a smart risk taker with them. So we see this person, the eight of discs, getting to know you, getting to know all about you, valuing you, really wanting to go the distance with you. That is a card of apprenticeship. They want to go places where they get to have adventures. Now, let's go skiing. Have you been skiing? No, I've never been skiing. Could we get hurt? Yep, we could get hurt. The moon card, are you afraid? Yes, I'm a little afraid. I'm going to ignore that fear. I'm going to make that choice, and I'm going to go off and learn a new skill with you. The Eight of Wands is very sexy. Put Look at the fire. Look at the passion. At the end of a day of having great adventures, this person then wants to make love all night long. So be sure that you take your vitamins, my friends. Vitamins, vitamins. You say potato, I say potato. But what we're seeing here is a person who wants a best friend, a collaborator in their life. The two of discs says that they don't yet, they haven't yet made a full decision. They're trying to figure this out as they go, as they date you to see what the two of you have in common. Let's look and see. This is very exciting energy. Now, it's not easy to find a match here, right? But what do we see with the Two of Swords? You know, the Two of Swords is an energy that really can just ignore that. They're people who don't let things bother them. This person could be in a, on a crowded subway and people are talking and they're reading totally unbothered, totally very much focused on what they want. That is fiery energy, Leo energy, your person is, you know, they just sort of ignore, they turn a blind eye to that which does not suit them, which is very good in relationships because when we look at, Benjamin Franklin was a founding father of the United States. He had a lot of wisdom and he used to say, if you want to get married, go in with your eyes wide open and half closed after that so that you can ignore the things that would you know would be annoying and so your person has a they really are very powerful in that way they just don't let things get to them they're too busy having fun being active what do we have here for the seven of cups we have the emperor card your person is looking for someone who um who values what they value who has courage who has strategy, who's not afraid to take a risk. They, you know, when we look at Aries energy, we're looking at somebody who's bold, who's thoughtful, but also someone who's very strategic. So it's like this person would say, well, we're going to go climb a rock climb. And if you showed up and you didn't have the proper rock climbing tools, they begin to think you're a little flaky. Seven of Cups, they don't get it. The Seven of Cups, they would see you as a person who was living in a little bit of a dream state. Again, they're looking for someone who can bring tools to the table also. The Three of Discs. They understand inherently that that's not easy to find, that they might have to to date a couple of people to find that energy that they're looking for. The Ace of Wands, why is the Ace of Wands here the death card? So the Ace of Wands says that after they have had a period of time, they have recovered, they are remembering, but they already chopped wood, so they're ready to take off again. Ace of Wands is taking action after a breakup, after the death of another relationship, it's rebirth, it's Scorpio energy, it's the phoenix rising from the ashes. The moon card, what is it? They might be a stargazer. This person could be somebody who's interested in looking at the stars. We get the sun card as a clarifier. It looks as though your person doesn't like to muck around too much. We have the sun energy here twice. Leo energy, Aries energy, Scorpio energy. Your person can come back from, from difficult times, but sometimes... Sometimes they get up in their head. 
Sometimes they can be a worrier and you wouldn't necessarily see it. But for the most part, this person does not like to be in Nine of Swords energy. Basically, what I see them worrying about is more the people around them. Very nurturing Scorpio energy. Look at that. Father of Cups is the energy of the Scorpio King. This And this is a very enlightened person, somebody who's really is comfortable. They could even be a therapist. They could be someone who deals with emotions. But we see someone who's very fatherly, a favorite uncle, a favorite brother, a favorite friend, somebody that everybody confides in. So I feel as though, you know, sometimes they worry about the people that they're around. Five of Swords energy. They're willing to take a risk even if they could they could get hurt okay the five of cups says that right now they're in a state of sadness you know that that the five of swords the five of cups that they are remembering the two of cups somebody who was not so nice to them somebody who they thought was their person two of coins energy they thought that that person could have been the one and they're realizing now that they aren't the five of cups and the five of swords is clarified by the seven of coins they want somebody who's invested in them they are not going to mess around they're going to turn a blind eye to this is what i'm seeing they're not going to carry baggage with them they remember they don't forget but they do forgive uh, but this person would not ever have another round they wouldn't go back to someone who did this with them because the death card is here. We get the Page of Cups. Page of Cups energy is so sweet. It's so loving. It's shy. It's, it's, it's timid a little bit. The Three of Pentacles, they are looking for a partner. They want a collaboration in life. They want the two of you to be able to create a third entity of a life together, you know, whether it's to have children, whether it's to birth adventures. You know, when we look at the fifth house, we look at that Aries energy, we definitely see someone who wants partnership and all of the benefits that can come from two people creating something beautiful. Why do we have the two of coins here? What is it that they're thinking about the son of cups? Oh, interesting. So your person may be a, a parent, could be a person who has a child. The son of cups is also being of two minds. They're going to make an offer. So it shows that the two of discs says, you know, they're juggling the idea, but both coins are on their eyes. The six of swords moving forward after healing, but we definitely get a romantic offer coming in. That's the knight of cups, Pisces energy. They will do, they will make the offer at a time when they feel intuitively that they really see things very clearly, that they know what they're, they have with you. Six of swords energy is they might even move to a to your location five of swords energy three of discs they did not have that in the past so that with the the two of discs is comparing you to the memories of what they had taking sort of an inventory of what's going on finding that you are their person realizing that who they thought was their person wasn't their person being of two minds, but really coming through that energy beautifully. Choosing you, the Ace of Wands. I love it. The Sun card, really respecting what the two of you have and being very invested. What do we have for the Eight of Wands, my friends? What do we have? We have the Wheel of Fortune. So when the time is right, they're going to suggest a great adventure. I would say that with the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy twice here. We get the Ace of Wands again. Your person is in it to win it. They're very strategic. They're going to have a plan. A man with a plan, a woman with a plan. This person is very much thinking about this. The Eight of Discs says that they are going to be very invested in this. Seven, of, seven to the Eight. I like it. And we see the Daughter of Cups, Page of Cups energy again. So we see a, a brand new relationship coming in for you. Somebody, I think both of you have had this experience, though. I really do. It resonates with both of you. That what you want is quite unique, and you understand that, and you're willing to go through whatever you have to, to go through. As an adventuresome person, you're willing to take the adventure of love and take your chances. It looks a, like a wonderful, wonderful collaboration of love and adventure. So that's what you have. Thanks so much for joining me. Please leave comments below. Tell me what you think of the reading. Any I do 
uh, answer comments and I do all I like to have constructive criticism comments tell me what you think is good what you think I could do better I'm very open and I thank you so much for participating take care bye-bye